All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another day of statistics. Uh, we're going to be moving on to creating some graphs now. Uh, we calculated some statistics, we compared standard deviations, and now we're uh, drawing some dot plots today. Dot plots, super easy. Uh, you'll see that in a moment. Um, but if you get out your note paper, uh, this is the first kind of graph on there. Uh, and so we're going to learn about some dot plots. Uh, here is how a dot plot is made. First, you'll need a data set, and then you'll need a number line. Do, 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 do. Uh, and on that number line, you need to add some labels here that represent the numbers up here. Uh, it looks like our numbers go from 0 to 10, and so my number line needs to go 0 to 10. And uh, as I'm writing this out, let me mention a few things about number lines. Your number lines have to be consistent as you count across there. Uh, I'm not going to count one, 0, 2, 3, 10, 12, 49. Uh, they don't jump like that, okay? You have to be consistent. Uh, some number lines count by 2, some count by 3, some can count by 1,000. But you have to be consistent what you're counting by. Uh, I'm just going to count by 1 because my data set only goes between 0 and 10. And to make a dot plot, what you're going to do is you're going to figure out how many zeros are in your data set. And then here, you're going to put stack up dots accordingly uh, how many zeros there are in your data set. Uh, you can also put X's, you can put squares, you can put triangles, you can put whatever you want. Uh, but let's go ahead and count. Let's see. One, two, I'm going to cross them out. One, two, three, four, five, six. It looks like six zeros. So you can put six dots going up like so. And voila, you've made the dots for the zeros. Uh, you can also put X's if you like to. Um, I prefer X's because X's, I can keep them consistent and they're faster to draw on the, the iPad. Um, but if you like having dots, go ahead and put dots. Uh, but I'm going to use X's just, you know, to be different. Uh, next thing you can do is figure out how many ones there are. Let's see, search, 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 search. Ah, there's a one here. It looks like there's only one one, so I can put one X. Uh, something to keep in mind is I'm trying to keep these consistent so all the ones are the same height, twos the same height, as we go through here. Uh, so now I'll figure out how many twos. It looks like there's no twos. I need to figure out how many threes there are. There's one, three, one, three. Figure out how many fours. One, two, three, fours. One, two, three. Again, I'm trying to make three the same height going across here. Uh, and then we got fives, one, five. And then we got sixes, one, two, three, four, five, six, sixes, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, and then we got sevens, one, two, three, one, two, three. And I'm going to pause there. You pause the video, go ahead and get how many eight, nines, and tens are, and we'll have you see if you got the right amount. All right, let's have you check and see how you did. I saw there's only one eight and then two nines, but seven tens. And so our dot plot's gonna look like this. Uh, da, 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 that's how you make a dot plot. It's pretty much, it's almost like a bar graph of how many numbers are each of those numbers. But you know, it's it's, it's dots or X's instead. Uh, and so that's, that's what's going on in your assignment. You're making some of them. And then on some of the other questions, you're reading them. So we're gonna do some reading ones. Uh, now, uh, this is on the back, uh, and something that's important is if you have a dot plot, you might notice it's made of dots, uh, you can recreate the data set because the dots represent how many of that number there are. So if I were going to rewrite this data set, it has three dots above zero, so my data set would have zero, 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 and then it's got three ones, so I can do one, 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 it's got three twos. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six threes. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's got four fours and then a six. One, two, three, four, comma, and then a six. Uh, and then there's no fives. So that'd be the data set if I was recreating the data set. That's useful in some problems. Let's say I want to get the average of it. You can write out your data set and then get your average. Uh, but it's got some questions. How many students have six siblings? Uh, by the way, the answer is not three. Uh, there are six people who have three siblings. But if you look at six, there's only one dot 
above the six. Only one person has six siblings. How many students have no siblings? Go ahead and write down what you think the answer is. If you put five, I'm sorry, but that is not right. Uh, this would mean that nobody has five siblings. Uh, if you were to figure out how many people have no siblings, that's zero siblings, and there are three dots, so three people have no siblings. And then how many students have three or more siblings? Well, you got these six here, the four, and the one, which comes out to be 11. So there you go. That's how you read a dot plot. How many dots above a number is, that represents how many numbers in the data set have that many. Uh, we're going to do one more, and these ending ones, they're, uh, they're critical thinking ones, they're challenge questions. So if you don't get them right away, that's okay. Uh, they're, they're meant to be more challenging, kind of stretch your mind a little bit about uh, dot plots and how to make. Uh, but yeah, you're going to make a dot plot that has these conditions. The median is 14, the range is 12, and then the mode is 10. So it's looking like I, I got ages here of crocodiles. And I need to figure out uh, a dot plot that meets these conditions. So if the median age is 14, uh, I'm going to put 14 here. And the mode is supposed to be 10. Uh, so let's, let's just go through and, and put some numbers here so we can see them. Uh, wait. Yep. So I'm going to put those numbers here. And then on 10, I'm going to need the most dots or the most x's. 14 is going to have to be the middle of my numbers. And then the range needs to be 22. Uh-oh. My range can't be 20. Sorry, my range can't be 12. It only goes between 9 and 19. And so I'm going to have to, I'm going to, have to unfortunately erase these and, and try again. Uh, let's try counting by twos. Uh, so let's do 16, 18, 20, 22, uh, 24. Let's see if that works. Uh, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4. All right, so that should work. So the range going between these is 20. Uh, we don't want it to be 20, we want it to be 12, uh, but that'll we have the space to do it. And so uh, it doesn't tell us how many crocodiles they are, so you can kind of just start putting X's on it. So like, as I say, if my median is 14, let's, let's put it an X there. Um, I can put dots over here if I put the same amount over here. Uh, and let's get the range on there uh, of 12 years. So let's just kind of pick, pick, some, pick some dots here. So if I go between 20, going down 12 would be eight. If I put my X's there, then I know I can't go outside that. That'll make my range 12, right? Going between 8 and 20 is 12. Uh, I need my mode to be 10. So if I just put 2 on this, that'll make it the mode. But I have 3 over here and only 1 over here. And so I need to add uh, another X over here. Let's see. Uh, that make the mode 10. My range is between 8 and 20, which is 12. Uh, my median is going to be 14 because we got 3 over here and 3 over here, and then 14 in the middle. Uh, yeah, this looks like we finally did it. So yeah, you, you as you're doing these more ex extreme ones, these critical thinking ones, just kind of think your way through it. It's okay to erase and, and try again, like I did with my number line here. It wasn't wide enough, so I had to redo it. Um, you you could be adding more X's on this. Like if I put one here, I could put one here. This would still be the the mode, and then my median would still be there. So there's there's a lot of different answers uh, you can put. Uh, just kind of experiment and see if you can make the dot plots. Good luck.